Well, good morning, you guys. I am getting the last few things put in the trailer. I gotta take the kids' bags out, but um, it's snowing. Okay. So we like to pack the kids' stuff in their little. Oh, there's a giant earthworm. Ooh, yeah, there is. I took a video of it. You did? Nice. We like to pack the kids' stuff in their suitcases like this because um, it just. They slide under the bed so easily. Um, once we're like camped, because these. This, little, this is Berkeley's bed right here, and it comes all the way down. And then this is the boy's bed up here. It's like a king size and it comes down to like here. And their suitcases just slide perfectly right under and actually keeps their stuff more organized that way. So there's Braden's and Berkeley's. Just gotta wait for Brody to bring his out here. But we got everything loaded up last night. So our fridge is fully stocked. Ready to go. I even have HelloFresh to cook tonight when we get there. So we're halfway point. We've got the freezer stopped. Pantry. I actually just took these straight out of the pantry in the house and brought them out here for all the kids' snacks. Got my blender. Oh, I need to get my protein powder. Um, okay. We're just packing up. Gonna get ready to a lot of town here soon. I can't believe it's snowing. We have our last minute basket here. Actually, Donnie's clothes are in here and like all of our bathroom stuff. I have this bag that has like my computer, book, my headphones. I've got the GoPro, all that. This is gonna be in the front seat with me. Um, the kids are gonna have, <laughs> let me see, turn that way. Look at this cute bucket hat. I got these on Amazon for me in Berkeley, a couple different colors. She's wearing that one today. Um, Brody, you need to take your suitcase out to the trailer bus. You can did leave you your yeah, I did. Leave your pillow in here for now. Kids are gonna have pillow and blanket and their stuffed animals in the Baby. truck. And then Berkeley has a backpack that has like her iPad and some toys and your lipstick. And then the boys each have a bag with toys, books, um, phone chargers, just whatever they wanted to have in the truck with them. So, I did. Your iPad is in your backpack. Got everything picked up, cleaned up, bed made. This is the uh, sheets and stuff from yesterday. Duvet cover, that's going to have to wait till we get home. But we packed up a lot of stuff. Yeah. We are ready. Almost ready. We just got to take that big basket out. I'm going to unpack it and then we'll be ready to hit the road. No, baby, it won't be snowing like once we get down the road a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna. I mean, it's not gonna snow today to where it's gonna like stick on the ground and pile up, but it's just a little flurries this morning. So it is 7:56, and our plan was to leave at 8 a.m. So we are pretty close to that. Yeah, we're pretty close to that. So just gotta take that basket out there, get everything in the truck. Ever, you guys need to all fill up your water bottles to have in the truck with you. Okay, is yours full? Uh, yeah, that's full. You're good to go. Put that with your backpack. Okay. I'm gonna fill up mine. I'm excited. We're gonna bring the vacuum. So I need to get that out. <laughs> fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Sound of the 
did our spot we're staying for the night in, or in Orland. So we're staying at the Parkway RV Resort and Campground. We are in spot three. All right, here's our spot for the night. Gonna get all set up. Kids are going over to check out the slide over there. There's just a slide and a basketball hoop. Um, and I'm gonna start dinner. Donnie's out there like getting all the stuff leveled and whatnot for the night. Can you hear me? What? I said, can you toss me my trip? Oh, yeah. I didn't hear you. Um, got the beds done. Berkeley's bed is down. She brought her pillow and made her bed. Boy's bed. So this is like a twin size down here and then this is a king up here. So I know it's hard to tell on camera, but it's, it's real big. And then Cash sleeps right here on the couch. We'll put a blanket and that's his spot. And then we got, once we get to Palm Springs and we like fully set up camp, we'll have like our tables out and we have our um, like camping chairs are all under Berkeley's bed right now. So we'll get all that set up. Um, but yeah, we're here for the night. I just have to get pillowcases on mine and Donnie's pillows. I brought fit fresh pillowcases to put on our, our pillows. And this is an extra blanket I need to put up in one of the cabinets. But I'm going to get started making dinner. I'm going to do HelloFresh tonight. Not sponsored, but <laughs> I have cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. That's what I'm going to make. Oh my gosh, I forgot the recipe card though, so I'm gonna have to go on the website and see if I can get it on there. Okay, okay, we got it. It's not the recipe card, but they have step-by-step -step instructions on the app. Thank goodness, okay. All right, it is 8.42, we had dinner, washed up all the dishes, kids all brushed their teeth and got cleaned up. They're in bed watching. Beethoven. Donnie's sitting out there too, but I just came in here to grab the camera so I can give you guys a little update. But we are in our spot for the night. This little lighting is phenomenal. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dark. Um, anyways, we're in our spot for the night. I'm exhausted. Exhausted. So I'm gonna go shower, brush my teeth, do my skincare, get in bed, and read. I've been reading this while we've been driving today without merit. Not my favorite Colleen Hoover book. Took me a little bit to get into, but now, now I'm into it. I'm 220 pages in. I'm on chapter 11. So I'm going to get in bed and read, call it a night, and we'll hit the road in the morning. We have like eight hours tomorrow. So I think we did about seven hours today. Well, it should have been seven hours. It took us much longer than that, but mileage wise, you guys get what I'm saying. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Saturday. I don't even know what time it is, but we did breakfast. Um, everybody, it's 8 13. It's 8 13. We got up about 6 30. Um, I made breakfast. I just brushed my teeth, so hopefully, I don't have toothpaste on and off. I didn't even look first, but we are going to head out. We're headed to the pumpkins today. It's chilly out there, but. It's still a pretty morning. Same for my We're all locked and loaded. This was a cute little stop for the night. You can see snow in the mountains over there too. From here. But it's time to head to Palm Springs now. Alright, we just got fuel right over there at the Chevron. And there's an in and out right here. So we parked in this big open kind of parking lot here. It's always tricky to maneuver, figuring out where to park the trailer to stop and eat, but this guy what? is a professional. <laughs>
had a beautiful sunset behind us and I didn't get it on the vlog camera at all because I was too busy taking pictures and videos on my phone, but look, how pretty. p.m. I've been traveling all day. Um, it was supposed to take us about eight hours to get here, but obviously we're towing. Then we have to stop a bunch of times and fuel up a lot and let the dog out and go potty and eat and all that. So um, it took us about what, 11 or 12 hours <laughs> to get 12 hours. We left at 8.30 this morning. We got here about 7.55, so 11 and a half hours total today but we made it we are in palm springs and actually our plans have changed since we left our house until now our plans have completely changed um donnie's grandma and grandpa live at an rv park like right by downtown palm springs and his grandma has been like running the show there for a very long time that's where we stayed when we were traveling full-time we like stopped in palm springs for a few days to visit we stayed there um, and then last spring break when we came down here, we stayed in a hotel because we didn't bring our trailer. But this year we were going to stay there again. Well, grandma called yesterday morning and was like, oh, I just found out that kids can't be here at the park or swim in the pool till April 1st. <laughs> we're like, well, we're already on our way. So we'll just find another place to stay. Like we're still coming. Um, I don't know. It's just like one of the rules at their RV park is it's mostly like, much older retired, retired people that like live there full time um, and then they like leave during the super hot months so kids aren't allowed there <laughs> until the super hot months come um, which is totally fine so I booked us a spot at the Thousand Trails Resort in Palm Desert which is just like I think 20 minutes from like downtown Palm Springs 30 minutes maybe so um, we're here and also she just found out that she has COVID and like all of the RV park where she lives and works has it too. So she's gonna test later this week and see if she's negative. Cause she's been actually like not feeling well for like the last week and just finally got tested, I think yesterday and then found out this morning. So we're not gonna be seeing the grandparents unless like later in the week they're not sick anymore. So we will see on that, which is a major bummer. Like that's the main reason we came down here was to visit Donnie's grandparents, but it is what it is. So. Um, the kids are excited to be at this RV resort because it is, it is very big. Um, there's a playground and dog park and like a big pool and all of that. So anyways, I'm getting dinner on the stove right now. I'm just going to make some spaghetti real quick. We're going to call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. Look. So pretty. Let me show you something. Hi. Hi. <coughs> Palm trees. Everywhere. No coconuts. No coconuts? <laughs> it's chilly out this morning, but look at the mountains out there. I love all the palm trees so much. <laughs> Gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna put these clean dishes away and open up the stove top. We've got our ice maker going. Um, so we can have ice for our morning drinks. I'm gonna make my greens. And Donnie made a spark. But the kids are watching the sandlot right now. And we're hanging out until it warms up a little bit.
Good morning, Chess in the sunlight. Good morning. All right, we just went and did a walk around most of this RV park. It is huge. We're at the Thousand Trails RV Resort in Palm Desert. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but um, we walked all around, took cash around, checked out the playground, the dog park, and um, now we have a full basket of laundry that we need to do already from the last three days. So um, the kids are at the playground, which is like right next to our spot right here and Donnie and I are gonna walk the laundry over and get that started I did pack oh wait it's not in that one the laundry pods so we're gonna get our laundry going we have a target pickup order to do today for some more um, water and I ordered a new book because I finished without merit yesterday it was really good I liked it it was kind of hard for me to get into it first but I ended up really liking it so I've liked every single one of Colleen Hoover, Hoover's books, but I um, ordered, I think it's called The Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, I think. I'll show you guys, but I wanted to have another book to read while we go to the pool. So it's warming up. It's supposed to be 70-ish today, which is honestly perfect. Like it's not too hot and it's not cold. Like 70, 75 with a heated pool. We are good to go. So let's rock and roll. Let's go do some laundry. I just can't get over this view. It's just so beautiful. <sighs> so nice. Good morning. So we're doing laundry today. I told you guys that. And there's this app that you get and you load funds onto it and then you can monitor your washing and your drying from camp. And you don't have to stay in there or like worry about your wash. This would have been so helpful when we were traveling. We would, we don't, you don't have to get quarters or anything. When we traveled full time in 2019, we had to get so many rolls of quarters to do laundry every week. So this is so nice. It just popped up and said, laundry's complete. So we're gonna walk over it. You just like select what washer you're using and then push start on the machine and it just does it for you. So we're gonna go switch to the dryers and then we'll be able to monitor those too. It's just such, such a cool little app. I'm gonna cook up some chicken, Brussels sprouts, and some potatoes. 
sweet potatoes are so good. I'm gonna make all this for dinner tonight. Went to the pool for a little bit, came back, just been relaxing, and we just set up the grill out here. So, Kasha, you've been rolling in the dirt. <laughs> yes, you have. You dirty dog. breakfast, cleaned up. I just put some makeup on. I need to fix my hair still. Um, we're getting ready to take cash for a walk. I think we're going to do some shopping today and go to the pool. Had a nice little quick Starbucks date. Triple espresso with a blonde espresso. Fenty cup, extra ice. Dump a premier protein in there. So good. Berkeley got Chipotle and all the boys got Panera pizzas. Mm. Perfect weather for sitting outside to eat. And we went to DSW it's like a cheese bowl. because Berkeley and Brody really wanted some Hey Dudes. So they got some matching Hey Dudes. Brayden did not want any. Somehow. <laughs> They're cozy. So Dada, Berkeley, and Brody all have their Hey Dudes on today. Mine are back at the trailer. I wore my Air Maxes. We found a car wash that Dada's truck could fit in. So fit in, rip the antenna off. <laughs> Do I need to pull these mirrors in or are they good? Uh, I guess we'll see. check-in oh the lighting we'll check in here um i think i vlogged this morning it's monday and we went shopping i showed you guys i think i showed you guys that um we went to lunch we came oh we went to walmart we went and got a car wash came back here got ready went to the pool the kids have been at the playground playing there's i mean there's got to be like 20 kids that all keep getting together and playing together at the playground and playing um freeze tag and they've made friends and I really miss that from when we full-time traveled like meeting all the people and the kids made friends everywhere we went it's just so fun um, so that's what they're doing again Donnie and I are just sitting out here um, I'm reading my book we're relaxing Donnie just actually went over to help somebody back into a spot over here oh if it'll adjust right there they're, this guy's trying to pull his camper into that spot and that's pretty tight and the wife was having a hard time so Donnie went over to help 
see if he can get him backed in there, but we're having a good time. I think we're gonna make dinner in a little bit, some chicken sandwiches. Um, but yeah, there's my little check-in. Gonna <laughs> still in my bathing suit. I'm gonna get some comfy clothes put on and we're just gonna relax for the evening. Made some chicken sandwiches for dinner and the kids are just having some chicken and they had they did have strawberries and some chips Brody's having his leftover pizza from lunch today we're sitting outside eating dinner we just got back from the park yep kids just got back from the park it's a beautiful night I've been sitting out here editing a YouTube video so I've got my computer and stuff out here but it's a nice night good morning it is Tuesday morning just got back from taking cash for a walk. Kids have been playing at the playground. It's like just their favorite thing to do here. They've been so busy making whoop, making friends and playing at the playground. But um, we are headed out to go have breakfast with grandma. She's feeling better. Grandpa doesn't really like to go places. So I think it's just, we're just picking up grandma. We're gonna go have breakfast with her. And then I did a Target um, pickup order so we're gonna stop by and get that and then probably spend today at the pool today it's gonna be like the warmest day since we've been here Climb. Go ahead. Yeah. Get your stair in. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. This is funnier than <laughs> Grandma's riding in the monster truck. Oh, God, <laughs> Perfect. Yep. That's what I brought. Mm -hmm. so we went and did a little shopping. I got a sweatshirt.
Britain and soon they moved down to Paris, occupied it. This is the occupied zone. This is Vichy France. So like France swapped from Allied to Axis powers. Huh. It was Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brave. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Woo! Did you make a good wish? Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice. Like and one Sunday morning she called, she said, I found a picture of our dad, and that's how she cracked up. You know, I mean, I says, how do you know? She says, because he looks like you. So when she sent me the pictures, I, I mean, I knew right afterwards, you know. And then I sent it to Germany, and uh, my Aunt Maria called. She says, where did you find a picture of your dad? Yeah. And then my Aunt... All right, it is Wednesday night, Brayden's birthday. Hi, Sissy just got back from the park. Boys are probably right behind her, uh, but we're headed to dinner. Brayden wants hibachi for dinner. He always picks like a local, I'm gonna fill that up. Um, he always picks like a local um, hibachi place where we live, but since we're not at home, we found somewhere around here. So, look me this one, Mom. Thank you. Yeah, you think? That's so sweet of you. Yeah. So, I know, excuse you. So we're gonna head to dinner now. We got reservations at 7, 6.35. So, you guys ready to roll out? I'm yep. ready, I'm starving. I know, I just started getting really hungry. We actually didn't even have lunch today because we got Starbucks this morning. We had ice cream. And then we went to the Air Museum and then we went to Monster Shakes and we just got ice cream and then we just kind of like had snacks today. So, we are all ready for a bunch of... Let's go. It is Thursday. Yes, today, today is Thursday. Uh, we are gonna get ready to start heading home today. And we decided we're gonna break this trip up more than we did on the way down here. We only stopped for one night on the way down and just did two travel days, but it was a lot. According to GPS, it's like, you know, eight hours and then eight hours. But when you're towing and then you have to stop for fuel a lot and bathroom breaks and food and whatever, it turned into like two 11 hour days, 12 hour days, so it was a lot. So we were planning on leaving today anyways and just going halfway and then being home tomorrow, but we decided that we're gonna go like six hours today and then do the same thing tomorrow and then do the same thing Saturday and end up home on Saturday instead. So that is what we're gonna do. Just shorten our travel days a little bit because those are long, long travel days. I think it's about 9.30 right now. We're waiting on some laundry in the dryer. We've been just working on packing everything up this morning. The kids are at the playground. They have made a ton of friends this week, having so much fun, exchanging phone numbers and adding each other on Roblox and um, Jurassic World and stuff like that. Um, we've met a few full-time families that are like right here next to us. Um, so that's been fun to chit chat about. We really do miss that life a lot. Yesterday, 
right across from us, one of the full-time families that's right over here, their daughter had her birthday yesterday too, and so they did like a little birthday party for her. Um, there was tons of kids, and we all went over there and sang happy birthday, and the kids had cupcakes and stuff like that. It's just such a fun, like, community, the full-time family community, and it really just gives us the itch, but who knows? You never know. You never know. Never say never. Um, you just never know. So anyways, we're getting things packed up. Uh, we pretty much have everything, like, all cleaned up out here the kids are playing like i said we're just waiting on that laundry so once that's done we will be able to just hook up the trailer and get ready to get out of here so in the meantime i'm just sitting here reading this book i have gotten fairly far I'm like halfway through it so i'm gonna read for a little bit i'm gonna edit uh, a video while we're driving today because i want to get that up tomorrow um so yeah, we will see you guys when we head out. the next morning but this is where we stayed last night just for overnight we got here made dinner showered we were out um but we're in Santanella California just literally I-5 is right there it's all these green hills rolling hills out here it's pretty but quick overnight stop right here on I-5 but we are loaded up I'm getting ready to head out this morning. Well, we, we stopped in um, Weed, California, just right here by Mount Shasta for the night. We're at Pizza Factory for dinner. Little hole in the wall pizza place. We are almost home. Johnny's taking a picture of the truck. Um, we just stopped to get fuel. We're like an hour out, but we needed fuel, so we also grabbed some lunch. Some road trip snacks. We're almost home. 50 minutes away. So, this is our last stop. My mom has been watching Jasper while we've been out of town and he's gonna be so excited to see us. Let's see. <gasps> Jasper, hi! I heard you. Hi, D. Go see the kids. Come on. We're home, Bubbles. <laughs> I know. He's so happy. Before I even opened the door, I could hear him. <laughs> Where is he? Come here, Bubba. Look who it is. Hey, Jasper. <laughs> oh, I missed you, Dee. I missed you. Mrs. Mother. Jasper! He's like, you sure about that? <laughs> Did you take care of the house? Oh. Your dog. Your 
goes crazy. 100 miles. Cash, tell Jasper everything. Anyways, we're home. We've been working on getting the trailer unpacked. Donnie is vacuuming. We got everything out of here. All the bedding off. All the beds. We're going to wash everything. I just went and got cleaning rugs, tripod, bleach. We're going to scrub everything down after being in here for a week we gotta do a good clean strip the beds I actually need to put the mat I, we got a mattress protector and i haven't put it on yet so i need to put that on i'm gonna wipe ev Ooh. I'm gonna wipe everything down so let's do that Hope you guys enjoyed coming with us on our spring break road trip. We had a lot of fun. Trailer's clean. I take it to storage. Woo, vlogging on my phone here, so it's a little weird. I'm gonna take the trailer to storage and everything that's in the house needs to be put away now. So I'm gonna go get to that. But thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. I'll see you guys again very soon in my next one. Bye.